Wow, this question looks fun to solve. Here given to us is this point which is dividing the radius of this semicircle into two equal parts. And this perpendicular from the end point of diameter, it's dividing this line segment into length of 5 cm and 1 cm. Exciting part is with this limited data, we have to find the radius of semicircle. Okay, let's check the solution. To start with, let's first complete the circle here. And let's assume the radius of circle, that's r centimeter. And thus OD length, that will be r by 2. And DA length will be r by 2. Let's extend ED to meet the circle at the other end at point C. Now here we have got two chords. First is AB and then is EC intersecting at point D. So applying power of point theorem, which states that two chords in a circle, they cut each other so that the product of the length is equal. So here the product of the length that is AD times DB that will be equal to CD times of DE. Now here if you look carefully your AD length that's R by 2 and DB length that is R plus R by 2 or 3 R by 2. So it will be R by 2 times of 3 R by 2 and CD length we are not aware of but DE length that is 6 cm. Now we have to find the length of CD and then we can solve the equation to get radius R. To find length CD let's drop a perpendicular from the center of circle on this chord. Now if you look carefully this pink triangle and this yellow triangle both have got these angles equal because these angles are vertically opposite angles. They have got this hypotenuse length equal R by 2 and this uh, angle that's 90 degree angle is there in both of them. So we can say that by angle angle side congruency both the triangles are congruent that is triangle sorry OGD that's congruent to triangle AFD. Now as the triangles are congruent thus the corresponding parts will be equal or we can say that GD length will be equal to FD length. But FD length that's given as 1 cm so GD length will also be 1 cm. So this length here is 1 cm. Now we'll use the second theorem also that is in a circle if we drop a perpendicular from the center then that perpendicular bisects the chord. That means this G is the midpoint of the chord EC or GC length will be same as EG length that will be 5 plus 1 plus 1 or 7 centimeter. Now we have got our CD length. CD length is 7 plus 1 or 8 centimeter. And in this equation, let's put the CD length as 8 centimeter and solving it will get R square as 64 and R as 8 centimeter and that's our answer. I hope you enjoyed the solution. I will see you in next video. Till then, tata, bye bye.